Okay. So this is Brenda back uh, working on the kitties. Um, this is recording six and seven uh, put together. I think my battery lasts about 35 to 40 minutes tops. I've gotten some new batteries. We'll see if I can do a little better. Um, so I put two 35-ish minutes together um, and then I I times it times eight in um, in the editing software to speed it up to you know five ish minutes so um, let's see if I can tell you a little bit about what I'm doing here um, I I used a little water first to dampen my um, the kitties before I added paint so I would be doing more of a wet and wet as opposed to a um, um, paint onto a dry surface so I just wet it down first with a little water and then I did a little um, Cleotex transparent airbrush paint um, flesh tone on the inside of the ears a couple different layers um, to achieve the colors I ended up with uh, I also used a uh, golden high flow acrylics which you know are my faves um, in a, a titan buff uh, not transparent and a uh, transparent yellow iron oxidine and a brown transparent brown iron oxidine and of course black shade which is also also transparent um, and then uh, a little bit of regular traditional white acrylic paint um, so those were really what I used here. Um, I used the transparent black um, and as, as with the rest of it and layered to achieve the colors that I wanted. Um, and then when I was all finished I, I sealed with a matte finish a, a Krylon spray um, that's a permanent protection. Um, it makes everything look a little deeper and all the same finish um, so kind of gives a, a really uh, a nice finish to it that doesn't really show up on video very well so I'm just telling you um, and I, it makes it moisture resistant obviously um, non yellowing gets rid of uh, all the glossiness you might have from certain areas of laying on you know paint and colored pencil the bloom so so to speak okay so um, I'm just lay layering and layering um, the brown in a few places and the nose and um, lots of black shade transparent color um, trying to get the darkest darks here I go in and out with color pencil, adding more hairs, uh, darkening up. I I paint with an airbrush, so that's how I got started using the um, the uh, high flow acrylics. Um, now I just use them all the time. I I don't have to add. As water or a reducer um, because they're in a, a very liquid form so if I need thicker paint I just break out the other and, and you can see it there to the right so I am working in washes um, transparent washes I want the hairs I've already drawn in to show through it doesn't really get muddy looking um, acrylic dries and then that part is sealed and not going to come up and then you go back o over it and adding more and more layers so they don't actually blend together once they're dry you just build on top okay I'm almost done um, I'm going to do the details and um, post a final picture